For the quick PLC series of logo training videos, I wanted to be able to demonstrate the simulator inputs and outputs and also be able to read the display and demonstrate pressing of the keypad on the logo unit itself. I decided to build a dedicated camera rig for this, which would give me a consistent uh, position, repeatable, and but also needed to have adjustment for in and out left and right and possibly up and down so that I could adjust the field of view. Here you see me working on the top bracket where the camera is going to sit. I've got a pair of buzz bars going out where we're going to hang the LED lighting strips on the left of the screen there. And we're going to use the suspension wires as the conductors on that. So here I'm soldering on two little tails, one onto the positive and negative track of each of the LED strips and shoving the wires from those into the same holes that the suspension wires are going to hold them on. So they're just a fri friction contact on that. If I'd thought about it some more, I probably would have bought 24 volt LEDs so I could power them from the logo power supply. But as it turned out, I bought 5 volt USB powered ones and that worked out a little bit better because the 5 volt LEDs can be cut between any two LEDs, whereas the 12 volt generally you can only cut every third one. And I actually never used the 24 volt ones, but I imagine they're more restrictive again. So if you don't have an integer number of LEDs on there um, or a multiple, you're in trouble. So here we're mounting a DIN rail. I've kept the DIN rail just the amount I need for the current state of the project. When I get on to doing analogs and that will probably want to extend the DIN rail to the right. On the top there, you can see the IO simulator. That's a subject of another video and uh, I'm quite pleased with it. It's a good value and has a good few functions, including a light sensitive resistor and a pot and a temperature sensor. So that's the finished board, logo, simulator, lights, and finally just put on the camera slide on it. So I'm using a smartphone for this, a one that is not in use at the moment. So here's the smartphone going into its cradle and position down and that's fine. So one thing I hadn't thought of until after I'd finished the project is that it actually might fit in the box that the logo came in. I bought the starter kit because it has the uh, the logo, the power supply, the software, a cable screwdriver and the box itself. So you get all that for about 60% of the cost of the individual components. So this is quite pleasing. It goes together and comes apart uh, in easily under two minutes. I hope you find that interesting and maybe even useful. Don't forget there's plenty of videos, so hit the subscribe button and give a like to this. And thanks. Thank you.